Hello and welcome to the SysCard video lessons. My name is Sergey and today we are going to learn how to create filters from the features. Let's roll! In the previous videos we spoke about features. Features are a good tool that can be used to give more information about the products and attract more customers. But not all features can be used as filters. A good example of the filters based on features is in the electronics section. Here we have the brand feature and the brand filter, operating system feature and operating system filter, display filter and storage capacity filter. That's how it works, basically. Now let's dig deeper into the filters. Filters are found at products, filters. Here we have the default filters. One of them uses the specific parameter, the price filter. Filter by price, display on all categories. Another use features. Filter by brand, display on all categories, operating system filter by operating system, and display on electronics categories. By the way, two main parameters, filter by, by what, and display on, on which categories the filter will be displayed. Now let's create our own filter. Especially for this lesson, I have already created two new features, fabric and resolution. First we'll be speaking about a filter by resolution. Let's call our new filter the same way, resolution, number of displayed filter variants before scroll. Well, let it be free. Uh, display type, expanded, minimized. I'll show you how it works a little bit later. Okay, categories. Don't forget to add categories into filters so your products would be displayed. Okay, electronics, add categories. Oh, let's add other categories too. I recommend you to do this in order to avoid um, errors in filtering. What else we can add here? Of course, TVs, all type of TVs, and uh, cell phones too. Add categories and calls, done. Create. And good, we created uh, the new filters. Resolution. Filter by resolution, electronics display on different electronic categories. Now let's uh, take a look at the storefront. Let's refresh the electronics page and scroll down a bit. Brand, price, resolution. Yeah, here we have one, two, three, three resolutions. Full HD, HD ready and uh, 800 to 600. Now let's find something. We have three TVs with Full HD resolution and we have two players with 800 to 600 resolution and what about HD ready and one TV with HD ready. That's how filters work. Now let's create one more filter. This one will be displayed on the calls categories. Filter by fabric, display type minimized this time, and number of displayed filter variants before scroll, let it be 5 categories. All apparel categories. Apparel, men's clothing, women's clothing, add categories. Create. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, fabric, fabric, create. Done. Now let's go to the door front. From electronics we go to apparel. And here instead of operating system, resolution, storage capacity, we have only brand, fabric and price. When we choose minimized, the fabric will be displayed, or oh, the filter, speaking generally, will be displayed like this and we need to expand it. Then the expanded type is chosen. The filter will be expanded by default and you can minimize it instead. Fabric, let's find something. We have cotton, nylon, polyester, silk and wool. Let's find something with cotton. Okay. Change with greed. Yeah. All the products have cotton in it. Uh, but let's find something less common. For example, wool. Only three products have wool in them. And by the way, let's go to the products page and I will show you one very peculiar thing. 
here. That's right, features. We have fabric, cotton, polyester and wool. And composition, wool, cotton and polyester. This is the feature too. But we don't have the filter for this feature. As you can see, the information in the features tab is duplicated. Composition, wool, cotton, polyester and fabric, cotton, polyester, wool. One and the same thing. What we can do about this? We can make some features to be displayed only as filters and not to be displayed on the products page. For this we will need to go to the features page and make some changes. Let's go. Products, features. Here we have three new features, composition, fabric and resolution. Okay, composition is a more specified fabric feature. Let it be so. Fabric, what you can do about it? We can disable show on the features tab and this feature will not be displayed anywhere. So it will be used as a filter only, as a basis for the filter. Okay, let me show you. Save. And now back to the storefront. First, let's refresh the page here. Okay. Features tab. And the fabric is gone. The only feature left is the composition feature. Now let's go to the categories page. And coughing. And the fabric is here. So, what we can do, for example, the general parameter, like fabric, can be used only by filters. And more specified information that provided by the composition feature can be used at the products page here, cotton 100%. Such separation will ease filters usage and ease the navigation through the store. So first, customers can find the, the fabric they need and after that they can specify the amount of the fabric in the clothes. Just like this, cotton 100%. Two more things about filters. Here. Number of displayed filter variants before scroll 3 and 5. Let me show you. Resolution. Here we have 5 before scroll. So we don't have to scroll anything. We have only 3 variants here. Now let's go to the apparel page. And here we have fabric and 3 before scroll. 3. Cotton, nylon, polyester. When we scroll, we get polyester, silk and wool. That's how this setting works. One more thing. When we disable the feature, by the way, we are at the features page, not at the filters page. For example, fabric disabled. Warning, the following product filters were disabled. Fabric. Now let's go to filters page and see the result. Yes, fabric filter was disabled too. So don't forget about that. And uh, by the way, when you disable filters, features won't be disabled and they won't be activated. So it works only in one way. That's how feature-based filters work. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCART video tutorials.